I love this question so much because it's going to be a really interesting ride in front of us. You know, we're seeing a lot of companies shifting and thinking more about affiliate models and influencer models. But I still think we're going to have a really strong direct sales channel. I, I see a lot of direct sellers building out lifestyle brands where they're representing their favorite skincare company and their favorite bag company and their favorite vitamin company, right? So they're representing multiple brands and they have this loyal following that like to shop with them because of who they are and their personality and that brand that they've built. And they have a really strong, loyal following. Uh, influencers do this all the time. They're representing many brands. We also see affiliates doing this as well. So I think we're gonna see some shifts that are really gonna influence the direct sales model and some things that we can really learn from influencers and affiliates and how they run their business. The one thing that I think is a really big differentiator in those models versus direct selling is the customer service component. When I buy from an affiliate or an influencer, I don't expect them to check up on me to see how I like my order. And that's something we do in direct sales and we do it really, really well. So that's an exciting thing to kind of think about is, is how can we create these communities that are thriving and exciting and you know, an influencer doesn't have a company conference to go to or an incentive trip to join necessarily. So I think we're gonna see a mesh of affiliate marketing and influencer marketing and direct selling. And I think as long as we're staying true to um, you know building relationships and really supporting people in the work that we're doing, we're going to see really, really strong momentum as we're kind of riding this next wave of direct sales.